welcome back to American Life Farming. So, it's time to uh, get in and start our new episode. And uh, it's time to get ourselves into the progress. Because we've kind of been lagging behind. We've not really bought any new fields. So, we've kind of um, just been sitting there, not really doing a lot. Okay, so all our fields are full of weeds, which... Um, it's not that big of a deal because we've got to plant them. Um, I wonder why it keeps doing this. Every time I log back in, it puts my fields back to where they were. So, do I have any errors? Is that why it's doing that? So, uh, for, for all of you that play this map, know that the field is normally like this. But I changed the field and I. Um, obviously extended my yard so I can put this uh, shed over here uh, but every single time I um, well sorry not every single time it's this I think the third time when I log in that it's the fields are back to normal I wonder has there been an update to the map and um, I'm not aware of so the first thing that I'll do is I will obviously uh, fix that back make it square okay and let's get ourselves to the right ground I think I just went past do I want to do it like that no I But I don't want to do it like that. I want it to be all the same. <laughs> so we will keep going through this. Oh, are you kidding me? Shouldn't be looking at my phone while I'm doing this, should I? I hate the fact that I have to keep correcting this. So it's not that really that big of a deal, but it is a little bit annoying. Um, so let's get it to the smallest one possible. Because as you can see, it's not just as simple as, okay, kind of it is, but it isn't. So I don't know why it does that. Um, so unless there was an update of the map that I wasn't aware of. Okay, so that's done. So we used a little bit of our money, but that's not a problem. Uh, we have kind of progressed money-wise. Where are my tractors? So there is my one of my tractors, but that's not my seeding tractor. not the big tractor I believe that I've got the combine in here only yep okay so this is probably no that's my truck all right uh, I believe did, did my tractors disappear no I have Okay, so where are you? We're going to have to tap through it. There we are. Filling up our manure. In our last episode, we did manure. So this is where our big tractor is. Just got to see what happened to my tractor. As you remember, in the last episode, we... Um, actually, no, I don't think you saw the last episode. Because I think that's the episode that um, YouTube... Uh, completely blocked for copyright reasons I believe um, that there is some stuff that is missing from from what I've done and you're not aware of it yeah what I did is when I started the game I started the game here and as you're again if you play this map you're aware that um, 
there is an aeroplane that goes by. And um, for whatever reason, the sound of that aeroplane is... Um, they've copyrighted it as if there was something highly illegal on it or something to that effect. So, um, yeah, I, for the life of me, I couldn't figure it out why they would uh, block it, but that's, um, they sent me a text, uh, a message saying that, you know, that particular sound and that particular thing is somehow a copyright infringement. Um, I personally don't know how to react to that because um, it's not something that I've added, it's something that's in the actual map itself. So, I don't know, these days you don't know, so... Um, I'm still waiting for them to kind of give me a, uh, uh, I don't know, an explanation or, or something. But, until they do that, I will just completely ignore it and just uh, make it like that video uh, just doesn't exist. They do say that after a few days, they release the video and I lose all the so-called money that I make. Not that I make any money on YouTube. I have not made a single cent of YouTube, so they can, doesn't bother me if I lose the so-called money. Uh, but yeah, that's, um, that's what they say, is that because there's that copyright, so I don't know, is, that, is there a specific engine noise that is, um, that is copyrighted? Uh, I don't know. They said that I could lodge a claim, but I couldn't really figure out how to sort of lodge a claim or something that, you know, for them to read and look at the video and all that sort of nonsense. So, uh, like I said, it wasn't really worth my time because I don't make any money of this. Uh, I'm doing this because I like uh, the game and I, I, well, you know what, we'll share it with a few of you that like to watch it. So, uh, the fact that they've blocked one of my videos, well, such is life. Anyway, we'll put soybeans on the, all of our fields and um, we will obviously harvest it. Hopefully, um, our trees will grow and that way we can start cutting our trees, the trees down. And um, yeah, that way get a bit of cash and start a bit of a progression. Start again from like a square thing yeah we'll do a bit of a progression because we do want to sort of progress along it, it's kind of taking a bit of time um, so yeah we do want to move into our our bigger farm um, but you know I, I keep redesigning this and I'm starting to like this so I may not want to move down to the farm as we set our goal or my goal before um, uh, from our first episode so but we'll see We'll see what happens. So we'll go around a couple of times and then I'll set the worker on. So I'll um, do a little bit of a time lapse, but what I'm going to do is I think there's too many time lapses. So I'm just going to sort of try and limit the time lapses and just sort of, um, you know, do a bit of the beginning of whatever job I do and then come back uh, when it's almost done or at the end. Alright, so I went around once and um, went uh, uh, up and down this side three times so the tractor doesn't get stuck onto the traffic. Um, and now, now I'm going to set it up to do, I fixed up that little bit up there. Um, so again, the tractor, the worker generally tends to not like um, that side of, uh, you know, those little squares that they, oh, oh, oh. Those little squares that kind of plays around with with the workers a little bit. So we're gonna set up the worker to do it from here on. Beautiful. So 
uh, our weeds should be disappearing. And um, okay, so that's our second stage of fertilization because as you remember, we did put manure on both of these fields. So yeah, cool, we'll let him do his work and we'll come back when he's done. Okay, so what I've done is I've switched the off growth, the, the plant growth, so I fast forwarded again so the trees um, will grow up. So this is why we've just finished this field, but there is um, obviously no growth at all. So growth, plant growth is completely off. And the reason that I've done that is exactly that. I wanted those trees to start growing. Um, and I fast forwarded I don't know, probably seven, eight ga uh, days um, of game time. Uh, obviously, okay, what's going on here? I'll wait for this to unfold. There doesn't seem to want to drive around while it's unfolding, which it's fine. Yeah, like I said, obviously there is um, that dilemma with. Um, Let's put this on a generate course. Yeah, with uh, trees being grown and all that sort of stuff. So, one, we'll put it a bit lower. Okay, drive soybeans. Yep. Yeah, the, actually, the reason that I did that is because I really wanted for the uh, for the um, trees to be fully grown. Now we're gonna. And look into hiring um, I do have oops wrong place not you which this one here I think no wrong one wrong one as well where is my that's the ones here I've not actually used this particular mod at all I've downloaded it I've never actually used it um, and I'm really, really curious to see how it works. As you can see, it is a Papa Smurf modding. So I am going to um, utilize that. I'm going to look at a uh, machine of, to cut those trees, which is most likely going to end up being one of these two. Uh, so unless I find something else on Mod Hub to get that's probably a little bit more have anything in miscellaneous to do with trees no I don't I haven't used this mod either so about time I'm gonna use these mods as well but anyway that's not the uh, that's not the point of the one I will obviously come and fix all these little bits that he misses the uh, cruise con cruise control course play misses uh, but I'm going to let him put the soybeans on uh, I don't think there's any need for me to record all this. Um, we do have uh, manure on the on the field, as you can see, and um, our planter will apply um, fertilizer as well, which should make it 100% fertilized. Yes. Anyway, we'll let him do his work. All right, so uh, while we're planting our fields, I actually put the timer on uh, 120 and I let it go quite a few days so the trees will reach their full growth so we can uh, harvest the trees. Uh, but in the meantime, obviously the chicken coop uh, made so many eggs that uh, I have to now get rid of the eggs, which is not a problem because we definitely need the finances. Um, so this is why you'll probably see that the trees have all of a sudden become <laughs> a full size. Uh, it's also something else that I sort of wanted to bring up with what's happening in this world today. Uh, maybe give you some thought of uh, something that is happening and, uh, you know, give you a little bit of a thought. And this is a verse from the Bible. He required everyone, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to be given a mark on the right hand or on their forehead. What was the purpose of this mark? The purpose of this mark was so people uh, could not buy or sell anything. Um, I just want you guys to take a little bit of time and think about what's being proposed at the moment with uh, all these passports and all these things with 
uh, all these things that are happening at the moment. That if you do not do what they tell you to do, you can't uh, pretty much go shopping, you pretty much can't do anything to survive. Now at the moment it's just obviously an idea that's sort of being pushed out. Uh, and by no means am I trying to say that um, what those verses are saying is actually happening to its fullest at the moment. But it should make us think. Uh, something that was written uh, 2,000 years ago, you know, roughly. Um, now we're seeing the fulfillment on it. And under the idea that they're looking after us. So they're looking after us uh, by making sure that we do exactly what we're being told. Now, why am I telling you this? Um, first of all, I want you to think about this and uh, you know, see that things that have been written in the Bible a long time ago are now coming true. And as time will go by, uh, you will see these things being fulfilled more and more. Um, are you ready for those times? Or are you just one of that person that just simply rolls with the punches type of thing? Yeah, whatever happens, I'll just stick with it and see where it takes me. Uh, I'm not telling you one way or the other. Um, it is up to each of us to sort of think for ourselves. After all, this is the point, uh, especially in the democratic world, is for us to have a, a mind of our own and um, consider things. So what I do is ask you to consider this thing. Uh, does it sound familiar to you? Or is it just me that's seeing this familiarity to it? I'd be curious to see your comments and uh, your opinion on all this. Okay, so we loaded the other side up. Oops, getting stuck into the actual view. Loaded the other side up. I think we could probably do it this way. So we, we can. Yeah, it's a waste of time. I don't even know if um, the straps will actually hold that box over there. I definitely need to find a better way to deal with the chicken eggs. Um, and like I said, I know there is trailers that automatically you can auto load uh, chicken eggs with them. And um, I will look into that for next time. Because I definitely don't want to be sitting here doing this. And the bad thing is, is that I can't even seem to be able to feed a humongous egg. I suppose I could have spent the time and uh, stack them up neatly and all that sort of stuff and, okay. and that way you know I most likely would have been able to fit a lot more egg boxes in but we'll see what happens I haven't as yet checked out the price so I have no idea um, money wise if we're going to make a small fortune of this or not really that impressive I'm gonna do a massive overload of chicken box uh, chicken eggs over here some on this side over here since that's one thing that's good about the fact that you do have the straps so that you can overload them massively realize that that's killing the realism side of things because you would never do that in real life but then again it's killing the realism the fact that the eggs come in boxes like this so the ropes don't fall down got our last full box chuck it on top how many eggs are in here two or three twelve let's get rid of this as well Okay, so now we do this. Okay, let's check out where we are going to sell eggs at the best price. Wow, I honestly expected them to be a, a taco food stop. It's got the highest egg price. Uh, what mode am I playing on? Normal. All right, that's that is a bit of a surprise. I've seen Dago in uh, on whatever he plays, and he was getting as much as ten thousand dollars for the eggs. But anyway, it is what it is. So we got three thousand dollars per 
3,000 uh, something dollars per liter, per thousand liters. So let's see how much money we've got here in chicken eggs. I don't know, 5,000? Oh, actually, it should be more than that. Close to $10,000, I would say. Come on, buddy. Can we move that? All right, I'll say about 10 grand. Oh, a lot more than that. So what's that? About close to 16, 17, 18... Okay, come on. There's 19, 20. Actually, you know what? I could do this. Come on, you know what? Let's back it up. Let's see, can I do it? Oh, they don't fall down there. This is a... No. Alright, this is not going to be... I don't want to be sitting here doing this. Don't get stuck with the heat. Alright, so let's go here and just pop over there. So you have $500 per box. But we got easily doubled in what I said. I f what did I have? About just under 550,000, right? So about 20 grand. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So let's get our truck back to the... Next to the chickens over there. And we'll get set up to do some of our... Cut some of our trees down. I will look for a different... Um, Okay, this is, yeah, it's getting almost done over there as well. I will look for something different to cut the trees down. If I can't find something that's a little bit different or quite a lot different, then I'll use the ones that are in-game. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that I could find something a little bit more, I don't know, something a little bit different. Uh, since I don't really deal with forestry that much, I'll see what, as far as mods is uh, concerned, is available. And then we will deal with that that way. All right. Let's, um, I'll go and have a look. And then once I find something, I'll come back. All right. So uh, planting is done on uh, all our, well, the two fields that we have. I'm just finishing this a little bit since I've extended it. Um, course play didn't seem to recognize it as part of the field. So it completely ignored it. So I'm going to finish all that, uh, little bits and pieces that were done, we're already finished. So I just need to finish this tiny little bit over here and then we are done with planting. Um, collected the eggs. Um, I have found a couple of mods that I'm going to use for harvesting, which um, I'm going to do it on a different episode since it seems to um, have taken quite a bit of time to do what, uh, what I've done so far. And um, yeah, I don't want these episodes to be super long. Um, so yeah, we'll finish, um, we'll finish harvesting, we're, we're looking alright financially, so hopefully in the next couple of episodes we'll be able to buy either new fields or a new farm, we'll see what happens. So like always, thank you very much for watching, uh, thank you very much for your support, and uh, yeah, as always, please like and subscribe, if you've got any comments and suggestions, feel free to uh, let them down, uh, write them down in the comment section. And, oh, look, that's sliding. Shouldn't be driving it while it's falling. And, uh, yeah, um, you know, any, any uh, suggestions are greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah, like always, until next time, uh, you have a wonderful day or morning or evening, depending on where you are around the world. So, yeah, God bless you. And uh, enjoy the rest, uh, the rest of your day, week. I'll see you into the next episode. See you later. Have fun. Bye-bye.